Hi, it's Skiff and Lobates here. And a while back, when I posted something akin to a Fiverr pitch on social media saying that for a ludicrous sum of money, I would provide the European Central Bank with some justifications for the introduction of a central bank digital currency or a digital euro, um, I never in my wildest dreams thought that they would reach out and actually ask me to do so. Now, here I have an approved list of my points, and it's approved by a public relations officer called Anthony, uh, in which uh, I jot down a bunch of reasons why a central bank digital currency is ideal for Europe and why we should be moving away from cash. So uh, without further ado, let's fire off. Uh, point one, with CBDCs, underage children will not be able to buy alcohol. So if we have a digital currency, then it's not just up to the shopkeeper to check ID before they hand over a bottle of vodka to someone wanting to buy it. The uh, central bank digital currency will actually be able to detect the type of the transaction and then deny the purchase even if the person in the shop wants to sell it. So uh, that would be a first great advantage, especially good for Finland, I would say. Uh, point number two, cash. Cash is dirty. It's covered in germs. We're all taught as children that if you play with money, you better go and wash your hands afterwards because it goes through so many hands. It's a vector for disease. And so switching to a digital currency means that the payments will be done wirelessly uh, through phones and therefore there won't be any transmission of germs. In fact, with any luck, the radiation may even kill off germs on your device. Who knows? I'm not a telecoms expert, but that's point two. Uh, point three, uh, we really need the digital euro to maintain a monetary anchor with respect to the singleness of money. Now, this isn't mine. This is one they put in. So thanks, Anthony, for that. Uh, I have no idea what is meant by that, but it sounds very impressive. Uh, point four, central bank digital currencies will be good for the environment. At the moment, when we produce cash, we have to cut down trees, pulp them, turn them into paper, um, nowadays, I think they put microplastics in them to make the notes last longer. We also have to mine metals and then mint coins. So the production of cash is environmentally unsound. However, with a digital currency, we'll be able to scrap all of that. And that'll be for the benefit of the environment. So, uh, um, you know, OK, phones need rare metals and gold and things like that and PCBs to be produced. But uh, you only have to produce the phone once and then it lasts for, you know, anywhere between six months and two years before it's replaced. So that's good longevity compared to cash. Uh, point number five, the digital euro will foster inclusion. These days, everybody is busy on their phones all the time. Uh, wherever I go, I see people looking at their phones, scrolling away. The only interruption I see is in the interactions in shops when people are handing over cash and they make a bit of uh, polite chit chat. Now, with a digital euro, you won't be handing over the cash. You won't have to be talking to the person who you're transacting with. You'll both be there scrolling away on your phone, thereby making financial transactions very much the same as the rest of the way that society acts. And therefore, by removing cash and replacing it with digital cash, we will be fostering inclusion because everybody will be behaving in the same way all the time. So that's excellent. Point number seven, central bank digital currencies will curb crime. At the moment, cash is a bonanza for criminals. You can use it to make anonymous payments and criminals turn up. You've seen it in the movies with suitcases full of dollar bills or 50 euro notes and hand them over. And the authorities have an awfully difficult time tracking them. However, if all the cash transactions had to be made electronically, now the authorities will actually be able to track down crime from the comfort of their desks rather than having to have police staking uh, out the area where they think the transaction is going to take place. So this also has added benefits that it will reduce the costs of policing and it will make it much easier to seize back the assets. There won't be uh, showdowns with guns and people screaming, hands up, get down on the floor and all the risks that that involves. Instead, they'll be able to seize the suspect criminal assets just with the press of a button. So great benefit, I think you'll agree. Um, eight, 
CBDCs are more safe and convenient than physical cash. So if you're walking around with a wallet in your pocket full of euro notes, there's a risk that a pickpocket will steal them off you. However, if they're on your phone and your phone is locked with, say, a biometric password, then your digital euros will be much, much harder to steal. They won't be on your physical self anymore. They'll be on your virtual self, as it were. And that means that we could see a substantial reduction in petty crime. Also a good thing, I think you'll agree. Nine, CBDCs will be cheaper than the current monetary system. So at the moment, we have a lot of expense in the production of cash, the moving around of cash, the paying for security guards to protect the moving around of cash. If we have digital euros, we get rid of that expense and instead we can do it all digitally and it'll be much, much cheaper, um, possibly even free. I don't know how that will work, but I'm told that's what we could have. Um, point 10. With the digital euro, you'll always be able to donate to WikiLeaks even if American credit card companies block such payments. So by moving the ability to make online payments away from payment processors, many of which are under the control of the United States, to a digital euro, which will be under the control of the European Union, um, we will have more financial freedom globally to do things that the US may not necessarily be happy with. So I think you'll agree that's a fantastic benefit in today's economic climate. Point 11. Uh, CBDCs are ideally suited to buy alien technology. If aliens arrive on our planet and we want to trade with them, they are not going to be impressed if we want to bargain with little metal disks and little pieces of paper. Aliens will be far more advanced than we are if they come to our planet, and therefore being able to trade with them using modern technology, digital technology, rather than physical tokens that are being shuffled around like some kind of casino game um, is going to be much more impressive to them and we are therefore much more likely to get a good deal when we buy their hyperdrives and uh, levitation suits and things like that. And last but not least, interdimensional CBDCs will be essential for opening trading routes with parallel universes where physical currency cannot be transferred due to dimensional barriers. Now, I have to admit, this was not mine. I had to get some uh, advice from Patrick Schurfel on what the other points were so I could meet the 12 um, descriptions of why CBDCs are advantageous. And so thank you, Patrick, for that. Um, and he's, of course, absolutely right. At the moment, cash is limited to this, the physical world. However, in the future, we may unlock other dimensions and it will be important to be able to trade in them. Otherwise, what's the point? It's the same when we discovered the new world and when uh, the uh, uh, globe became smaller by people being able to travel around. One of the first things that had to be done was that a monetary system was put in place to allow the colonizers to trade with the natives. And I'd see no reason why that would not apply to parallel dimensions as well. And because they are parallel dimensions, our physical cash in this dimension definitely will not work. Hence, central bank digital currency. Anyway, uh, thanks for reviewing the list, Anthony. Thanks for the advice on the last two points, Patrick. Uh, I hope that I have met the remit and that um, you've all found this useful or at least entertainment, entertaining. I'll uh, see you all in the next video soon. Take care and have a good day. Bye for now.